Hello everyone, Manny Queso here, and welcome back to another Blockbench tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make custom entity models like the chihuahuas that are in the background. I use them to replace the wolf texture and model. But before I actually start with the video, I want to say that I actually, this is my third time recording this. First time, um, I don't know what actually happened. I think it was a video problem where I accidentally captured nothing. Uh, and the second one is actually yesterday of recording this video. And what happened was I forgot to change the screen to my desktop. And now I have a forever sticky note on my wall that says make sure to change to desktop screen. But yeah, without further ado, I don't want to bombard you with any of my news. But without further ado, let's get started with this Blockbench tutorial so you can make custom entities and mobs into your Minecraft world. All right, let's get started by going to my desktop. All right, we are now on my desktop. Before I actually start with the tutorial, I want to let you know that there is a custom folder that I have pre-made for y'all so y'all can have an easier experience. This folder is called Custom CEM Example Folder. This will be a, a much easier way to do it if you're following along. So I recommend downloading it so you can get at least a little taste and quick feel on how to do this easily. Alright, now to actually do the tutorial. First we want to open up Blockbench. So I'll go open it and there we are, we're now in Blockbench. And for this tutorial, I recommend installing a plugin for Blockbench. To install the plugin, go to File, Plugins, go to Available, and type... Oh, it's actually right here. Okay. Uh, if it doesn't show up for you, search up CEM, and then it'll show up right here. Click the one that says CEM Template Loader. This one will make it an easier experience for you to actually uh, make models. We can exit out of that and then we can press the button and press the load CEM template. All right, now that we have the plugin installed, um, we can now see that we have a list of mobs that are in the game. Ooh, voice crack. And I'm gonna give you a little brief uh, thing about this plugin. Right here, there are several different tabs that you can use. This is the supported tab. That means you can actually change these models and implement them into the game. Unedited is what the game would usually give you and I don't really recommend going with these as they look, you know, abnormal. And the custom tab are tabs that are made from the plugin owner. So they're not really that useful, but yeah, I guess you could use it in some way. Single bone are, I have no idea actually, but you can learn that on your own. Legacy are from older editions from the game. So they have like the old zombie pigmen, the old chest, old horses, and such and also unsupported is the things that you can't change in the game and it will cause problems some of them can be changed over time like the raft vex are probably going to be changed when the version actually comes out fully unreleased are those that are not in the base game yet so we see that we have 1.20 stuff here all right we can go back to the supported tab and if you want you can follow along or you can choose your own mob that you'd like. For this tutorial, I'm going to be going with the pig model. And here we are. So we're going to click pig. And I recommend enabling load vanilla texture. As it will load the vanilla texture of the mob that you've chosen. So since I got the pig, it will show the pig's texture. Alright, now you can press the load button. And there we go. We're now in the editor. And we can do anything we want from here. But I should let you know that it is a little weird when doing mobs as well you have to do it by groups you can't just make a cube because it has to have a, a group it has to have sort of a like a buddy system i guess also if you want to make any rotations you must make a new folder so let's say i want to make a tusk we can't just you know make tusk here let me go to the head and i made a new cube and you can see that it's invisible. That's because we didn't give it a texture yet. It is on here, but you, you know, it's in, in an invisible spot. And here we go. I'll put the tusk right there on the snout. And then I'll make it three long. And then duplicate it with Control D. And resize it to make it like have like sort of a horn shape. Now you see that I have it. But I want to make it angled. So like maybe turn it like this. If I press the rotate tool, it makes me have to rotate the whole head. So, what do you do in this situation? Well, select the tusk, and you have to do it from here apparently. You can't just select it from here, or else it'll select the whole group. 
So select these two and press add group. And this will make a new group. Name this one Tusk1 one, or anything you want. So I'll name this one Tusk1 one, and there we go. Now we can rotate these as freely as we want to without messing up with any of the other models that it's attached to. So for now, I will actually model it so it can be the pivot point can actually change. So I'll make it right there. All right, we're going to use the rotate tool and I'm going to rotate it around 30, negative 35 degrees. And then I'm going to angle it down into, you know, let's say negative 15. That looks decent. All right. And here's a tip. Since I want to make it sort of symmetrical and have two tusks, you can do this simple command by pressing Ctrl D and it'll make a second tusk and it'll even change the number for you. But let's flip it to the other side. To flip it to the other side, press the transform button, press flip, flip X, and this will flip it. And there we go. Now we have two tusks that are symmetrical from each other. Now, you can add textures now if you'd like, but I recommend doing that at the end. Um, I'm going to add some different stuff, maybe a tail or, you know, let's, I'll just go along with the way. Uh, so let's go with this miniature montage. everything I wanted to so um, I've made a little top hat and I even made a tail over here to make it more of a 3d look but now we have to texture it but before we texture it I want to let you know that we must move some of the UV stuff because it can actually obstruct and it's actually have destroyed some of my textures in the past so to easily do that you just you know select the cube one by one but you don't have to spread them out too much as you know they want to be a little bit close we'll, we'll disable that um we'll do that and there we go um that's what we'll do and i don't know what happened here but this monstrosity was formed but we have to move it so you know uh let's let's move that somewhere else maybe like right there and all right now we can texture it however we like and to texture it we're gonna do Control a to select everything that we have made and there we go now we have everything selected we're gonna press the create texture and we're gonna name this the same as what the texture is right over here so this is the pig.png so we're just gonna call it pig or whatever the mob is and press confirm and there we go now we can do whatever we want from here so i'll do a little texturing montage if you want to follow along you can and slow down the video all right let's get into it You don't have to watch a 30 minute pause break but you'll see it instantly all right here's my model i added a little 3d tail with the vanilla textures and i even cleaned up the actual base texture um i added the tusk and a little top hat but now the real question is how to import it into the game well first we want to go into the template folder that i have made so we go into it we'll go to assets minecraft textures entity and now you see that is blank now this can be different for a mob that you chose if you chose a mob that has several textures like i think the creeper has one where it has the both charged and normal variant and also the cats which has different variants llamas horses and i think donkey is under the category of different variant um writable mobs but since i chose the pig it only has one texture but if you do choose something with multiple textures, just press the new button folder and name it whatever the mob is. So let's say horse. 
So if you made a mob that's a horse, then you name it horse. But I'll just use the pig. And since the pig has one singular texture, we don't have to make a folder for that. So all I have to do is press the save icon, go into desktop, look for the folder, see custom CEM example folder, assets, Minecraft, textures, entity, and press the save button. And now we get to save the model. We press file, export, export Optifine gem or GEM and go to desktop and go into this example folder, assets, Minecraft, Optifine, CEM, and press the save button. Now I'm gonna save the model for now. Uh, I'm gonna save it as big model and I'll save it on my desktop just for now. And then we can close block bench. And there we go. We see that the texture is here. And if we go to Optifine, CEM, we can see that the pink model is right here. And there we go. Now we have to implement it into the game. So let's go back to Minecraft, press Options, Resource Pack, and press Open Pack Folder. And there we go. Now we can minimize Minecraft and drag our Resource Pack Folder to the side. Now we want to grab this folder, and we would just want to drag it onto the Resource Pack Folder. And there we go. Now that it's at the bottom of our screen, at the bottom of the folder, we can exit it out and look for it in here. And there it is. Custom CEM example folder. And press make it go over here to the selected menu and press done. Now I'm gonna be here for a little bit, uh, but it'll be a quick second for you. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back and that was a quick second for you. And now we get to see our little pig friend that we made or that I made. I don't know if you follow along and we can just spawn it in and there we go we get a pig spawn egg and there we go we have a fully customized pig into the game we have the 3d tail its top hat and the little tusk that we got from it that was a pretty simple tutorial and it might have not taken even long for you but thank you for watching this block bench tutorial also, I was recently, I recently asked y'all in a community post if y'all want to see actual Minecraft content, like Let's Plays, and the majority of you said yes, even though I'm a small YouTuber, so that's basically 11 you saying yes, and I think it is. <laughs> but, um, so make sure to see in the future Minecraft actual content. And yeah, I also opened up my, uh, my own public Minecraft server. It is called Queso Valley. To join it. Join my Discord, and it will be there in the, well, the Discord. Alright, tell me what my blo next block bench tutorial should be, and also look out for any future videos of me playing actual Minecraft. Alright, take care.